Hi everyone, welcome to Beginner Handles. So Beginner Handles is a series for kids who are just starting out, ages six through nine. And we're gonna do the first set in a room where you can't dribble. It's called the Air Handles, it's Beginner. So what you wanna do is have one to two balls and you wanna have enough space to move just a little bit, but you don't have to necessarily. So you back up, here's my space, and I'm just gonna start out. And I'm just gonna work on slapping the ball. Okay, make sure when you slap the ball, you get your whole hand on it, like that. So get your whole hand on it, and I really like you to go for 10. So don't slap it and stop like this. Slap it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and right out, way out. So you get used to pulling it in and grabbing the ball with a really forceful grip. Okay, part of, make your hand part of the ball. All right, so the next one, you're just gonna pinch it. Now, I like to do this because kids often break their fingers when they're really young or just mildly break them or jam them. So if you pinch it, you get your fingers awake, right? And you can even pinch it on one hand if you need a little help. Okay, so you're gonna pinch 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now do the other hand, and have the other hand just help a little bit. Okay, this is, should be a slower set for younger kids, so if you need to slow down, you need to pinch nice and slow, you do it until you get some rhythm, and then you back it up. So that's the pinch series. So we went from slap series to pinch. Now we're gonna start to back and forth with it. Now, look at it for the first few, and then try to look away a little bit and trust yourself, okay? So, so much about sports is about trusting yourself. And if you're nervous all the time, if you feel you're gonna fail, you're going to fail. So if you let one fly in this series, and I'm sure I will, okay? I just go for it. I go get it and I go get it back, okay? You wanna push and then you wanna look it in your hands and now you wanna get a little wider. Okay, now you wanna put it out of your comfort zone a little bit. Pass it back and forth, okay? So it's self-passing. Back and forth, out here, back and forth, and over here. Now in the advanced series, we really start to move a lot along with it, but right now we're just taking the movement of the ball back and forth, move it around, back and forth, move it up high, back and forth, move it up high, back and forth. Okay, let's move it out in the front for 10. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And move to the right. You can add a, a little lunge to it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now all the way up top, all the way down to your feet. All the way up, all the way down to your feet. Your arms should be getting pretty tired by now. But you're going to keep going. Now if you do get tired, you can stand up and go back and forth. So now we're gonna try the first in the wrap set. Is around your head. Two, three, four, five, six. Just stay with me, even if you don't get to 10, go with my 10 count. Okay, really pop it. Now go the other way for 10. I know it's hard, because your hands are smaller, your arms are smaller. Three, four, five, we got this six, seven, eight, slap it, nine, ten. Okay, good. Now, the next set is around the waist. Now, a lot of kids roll it, and that's going to be a problem. So you really have to work on this part first. So everyone just do that part around one side and keep the ball away from your body, like that. Boom, like that. Two, three, four, five, pop it, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, now let's work on the other side. One, two, three, four, away from your body. Five, you're gonna hide it. Six, seven, look to hide it. Eight, nine, 10. Now you're gonna pass it. You're gonna go around and you're gonna grab it. You can bring it around. So let's go slow. Here, 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 here. 
Okay, so you want a little rhythm to it. So you really want to get it around. Don't bump your hip. Don't lean into it. Keep your body still. We'll go around. So that yeah, bump my hip. I want to get it off my hip. I want to get over my hip, under my armpit. So now I found the pocket. See with my elbows up, it's much more fluid. If I start moving around, I obstruct the passageway to get it through this, this tunnel under my arms. Okay, so do your best. The ball may go flying a little bit here, but that's okay. Remember, we're going in one direction for the whole set. And then in a second, we're gonna switch the other direction. So that's, that's slow, but don't move too much and try to st stabilize yourself and do it like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, do your best, eight, nine, 10. Now we gotta go the other way. So go around and grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. If you wiggle a little, that's okay, that's normal, I'm doing it with you, so I, I feel you. But then you wanna stabilize and grab it. So your body stays still, grab it. Now when you get that down, you really wanna get it under those armpits, just inside your elbows. Really reach, really reach and trust yourself right behind there in the back. If it falls on your hip, it's no big deal. You can just bounce it off your hip and keep going. All right, so if it bounces, just keep going through it. Just don't stop, just push through it. All right, we're going to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do your best, eight, if you're nine. If you're not with me, that's okay. Good, now shake it out. Okay, next set, I'm gonna tip the camera down so you can see my feet. I keep the ball moving. Okay, so if I have to talk to mom or dad, I keep the ball moving. And we're gonna go down to the feet. I'm gonna stay nice and low. And now I'm gonna work both of my legs first. So, how I teach kids this is, is the roll. The rolling is really the way to learn it. Okay, so we're gonna roll a lot in the beginner series. And then as you get the movement down, what you're gonna do is keep your legs still and you really have to be in this position, like you're, you're skiing, right? So you need to be in this position so that you roll it and you're able to use your arms. If you're off balance, when you pick the ball up, you're gonna fall off balance even more. So you pick the ball up and try to get that one at a time beat. Okay, get it one at a time instead of feeling like you have to go like this. Right? So just get the victory one at a time. Here it pop. And then go a little faster for five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna roll the other way. Okay, so I'm going counterclockwise. I'm going to my left. Three, four, five. And I pick it up. One, two, three. I get my victories, five, and then I try to smoothen it out so it's a little more quiet. Okay, let's go to five together as best you can. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now if your back hurts, and mine does a little bit, I'm just gonna stretch, I'm gonna pinch it, I'm just gonna shake out my legs, give myself a breather, and I'm gonna go back down and I'm gonna roll a figure, I'm gonna roll around one leg first, and then we're building out the figure eight. But I just have found that if you just go slow and you roll it, and you give this hand a purpose, put your hand here for now, and then you're gonna lift it up. So put the hand ready to help, right? You're gonna roll it, and then you're gonna pick it up, and you're gonna pass it around your right leg. Get the small victories, get the popping going. Don't be wobbling all over, keep your feet still. Okay, let's go five together. One, two, three, four, five. Now go the other way. One, get that victory. Two, each one, big deal. Three, try to stay with me, no big deal if you can't. I've played for longer than you've been alive. I did this for decades, so don't get frustrated. Okay, that's one leg. Now, again, if you're tired, you probably are better at this than I am, just squat for a second to get off your back. Use the ball. Okay, this is a really good athletic position to learn and keep your hips open. Okay, it also will help with the bending and jumping we'll do later. Now you're gonna go to the left. You're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and go the other way. Remember, we're doing all these drills for kids who are stuck inside. You could do them outside, but the goal is to have an option if it's raining or you're stuck in quarantine, who knows, these days, 
and you need something to do without the ball bouncing around. Okay, you're going like this, and you're going to pick it up, and you're going to try to get that victory one way. Go the other way. Then you pick it up so it's a little bit more quiet. And that's where you find that rhythm around the leg. That's a wrap. Now the last one we're going to do in this series, we're going to stand up and do a full body wrap, is the roll of a figure eight. You roll it and keep your feet still. Okay, you really want to master the beginner series before you go on to the basic. And I have to say, I took tap dance, and I was like, I don't want to be in the beginner class. i got to be better than a beginner. But sure enough, I really needed the beginner class, because if I got into basic and intermediate, I would just get buried. I just couldn't keep up. So I feel you on this. I know you're frustrated, but now you're going to pick the ball up, and this is what the big kids do. Now, I'm going behind my legs to start. All right? I rolled it behind my legs. Try to keep your legs still. Again, my hands are really big. My arms are really long. And then you put it down, you're going to roll it the other way. So now I'm going in the front, which is easier in my estimation. I've always had an easier time going in the front. Okay, go here. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to hang with me. Nine. We got this. Ten. Okay, shake it out. Now. We're gonna do a full body wrap that's gonna look like this. So just watch me for a sec. We're gonna go around the head, we're gonna do around the waist, legs, here, 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 here. We do the whole body the best we can. Now that may be harder for younger kids. So if you start, if you stumble here, just keep going. All right, ready? All right, we're gonna go from the top. I'll tip the camera up so you can see me. Then we're gonna go back down to the legs. Okay, so go from the top. Ready? Top, waist. Legs, waist, top, waist, legs, waist, head, waist, legs. Now, you're going to go the other way, coming up. So you're going to go the other direction because we have a dominant hand, a dominant foot, dominant direction. We want to even them out. So I'm popping. Okay. Boom. Same drill. All right, I want to show you two more quick distills that you can do with your feet down here. So there's a few ways you can do this. We're going to do this pretty much in 15 minutes of a basic series at your house, right? Alone, you got stuff to do, or you're looking for something to do, it's raining out, and you're going to work on here to the side, together to the side, together to the other side. So you're working a side lunge. So in the advanced series, we do all of this stuff together. We do our agility, okay, boom. So how do we do it to the right? Let's do it five to the right. So I'm gonna go together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. Okay, now go to the other side. Together, here, together, here. All right, now if you want to look really cool, you're going to move both ways. You're going to go together, side, together, other side, together, right leg, together, left leg. Now, another way you can do this is to go forward and back. So you can go forward, and back, forward, and back, forward, and back, forward, and back. Now, if you want to add to it, you can go backwards. So you leave the ball around your legs. You put your foot back, so it's a little lunge drill. This is all footwork, okay? So go with me on this one. You basically just step your leg back. Good, I'm going to struggle with you here. Good. All right, shake it up. My last one I'm going to teach you in the series, there's three. It's called the quickness. That will get you ready for basic. So basic is the next step up. Put the ball between your knees, and you're going to tap the front and back. 
Okay, so I'll show you from the side. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Right, boom, boom. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop it. Now, you may bother the neighbors, but do it anyway. This is a drop, okay? Then if you go like this, it's really hard, by the way. That's what we do in basic and advanced. So what I like to teach kids is just do this. Work on your coordination to go front and back. Okay, front and back. Now the other one we do is side to side. Okay, so it looks like this. Side to side to side to side to side. All right, so we're going to go front to back. Everybody do front to back. Front to back. Side to side to side to side. Body control. Front to back. Front to back. Keep going. Eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go side to side. Body control. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do spider without dribbling. Okay? One, two, three, four. So it's front, front back, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back. You can go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, or you can go right, left, right, left, but you have to go over your legs. So you have to make sure you go in front and behind. Okay. Now, if you can do that and it's easy, you should really try to do the drop one. So here's the drop one. Okay, front to back, and here's the drop one to the side. If you can't, just tap it. So let's go 10, 10, and 10. 10 front, back, 10 side, side, and 10 spider, and we're done. So ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's 10 for me, you guys keep going. Keep going, front to back. Okay, now we get your 10, side to side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now here's your tapping out your spider and then we're done and I'll see you outside of the next set. Okay, here we go. Let's go all in. We're going for ten. I'm going to leave with my right. Right, left, right, left. That's two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now I can add a second ball, which I'm going to do in the next few series, but definitely catch us in the next one where you can dribble. So you're going to find some asphalt outside or a court. I'm going to do a single ball dribbling and I'm going to do an advanced series with two basketballs. So I'll see you outside.